he's 102, she's 95, and they've been together as a couple since FDR was the president. Now, as you mentioned, they are celebrating 75 years of wedded bliss and still going strong. Four generations of Whitmans are gathered here in Santa Clarita, helping John and Ann Whitman celebrate 75 years of marriage. We're so together that I don't think we could do without each other. They met at a Halloween party in 1941. John says he knew it was love at first sight. That's the woman I'm gonna marry. Ann, though, didn't like him, thought he was arrogant. But he eventually asked her out, and she said yes, and they were married six months later. John, though, is a little short on those details. I don't remember, really. <laughs> He's 102. Yeah, that's why I heard. Oh, God, can you remember? <laughs> it's that wit, the laughter, the fun, that is in large part responsible for their longevity. They joke and kid each other all the time, and they've stayed active. Do things together. We bowled together. We played bingo. We used to go to Vegas. We do everything together. Year after year, they keep on plugging away. And uh, it was only until, uh, you know, last year that my father stopped driving. Yeah. So he drove until he was 101. Happy anniversary! But 75 years as a couple would not have been possible, they say, without a loving family. The fact that we still get together on a regular basis really means a lot to me. It means a lot to them, um, getting our families together, um, especially for a 75th wedding anniversary, is really something. Can't read. <laughs> now, the five Whitman children, seven grandchildren, and 12 great-grandchildren are looking ahead to number 76. She's a Jersey girl, he's from Pennsylvania, and they moved here to this valley in 1965. In Santa Clarita, I'm Rick Chambers. Guys, let me throw it back to you in Hollywood.